Hey, it's Roger. Roger, I want to talk to you today about the fact that we have two brains. We have a neocortex and we have a reptilian brain. So the core of our brain is this, this section here, which is a bit darker, which, is, which I've labeled R, which is the reptilian brain. And the outside of this brain is the neocortex, which is our thinking brain. So next time you react, next time you just find yourself overwhelmed with anger, guilt, sadness, fear, that's you coming from your reptilian brain which is, it's an interesting, interesting is as human beings, we have the capacity for tremendous acts of love and compassion and inspiration and creativity. And that all comes from our neocortex. But we also have a tremendous capacity for violence, uh, destruction, um, criminality, uh, you know, generally bad, you know, poor form, bad behavior all around. And that comes from our reptilian brain. That's our survival brain. That's our brain that's it's, des it's designed for our flight, fight, and freeze mechanism. It's designed to get us to reproduce. It's, it's our brain which is focused on survival, the survival brain. Whereas our neocortex, is, this is the brain which has created all our computers, has created all our laws, it's created civilization, it's created structure, it's created high art, um, high creativity. It all comes from our neocortex. Now, within you as a human being and within me and every person on the planet, there is this conflict between the neocortex and the reptilian brain. Your worst days, I guarantee you, when you have a really, really bad day, that's when you're operating from your reptilian brain. You're in reaction mode, you're tired, you're exhausted, you're angry, maybe you're confront confrontational with other people. yeah. And a day when you're really feeling peaceful, inspired, and highly creative is when you're operating from your neocortex. In your reptilian brain, this is where you store your programs. It, reptilian brain is kind of like your unconscious mind. It's where you store programs, like brushing your teeth is stored in your reptilian brain. Um, making a cup of coffee or a cup of tea is stored in your reptilian brain. You've done it thousands, if not millions of times. So you know how to do it. It's, it becomes an unconscious program, an unconscious action or reaction. And this is where your, your habitual programs are. Now, if you're having problems, maybe if you're anxious or if you're highly depressed, if you're obsessed, if you have PTSD, if you have maybe a mind-body condition like cancer, Crohn's disease, fibromyalgia, um, arthritis, gout, uh, bipolar, I'm just going across the, the realm of chronic diseases, uh, that the problem is inherently in your reptilian brain, where there are there there possibly is, and I would bet money that there is tra traumatic events from your past, and dysfunctional programs that are operating in your reptilian brain in your unconscious mind, which are uh, manifest as illness and disease, which manifests as anxiety, depression, all those things that are not maybe not serving you. You've got to understand that the co the core goal of your reptilian brain is to protect you, to serve you, to keep you um, to keep you alive. And but however, the way of keeping us alive, the way of protecting us, the way it, it, it may have served us in the past, but as we've grown, it may have served us when we we're four years old or two years old or seven years old. But now that we're an adult. And we you know we're holding down a job. We're a parent. We've got kids, grandkids. Maybe uh, we're operating the world. We want to make a difference in the world. We want to change the world for the better. The programs in our reptilian brain are not serving us anymore, and in fact, they do more harm than good. So that's why there's it becomes this, what is called like a cognitive dissonance. It's where we want to achieve stuff, but yet we have unconscious programs protecting us, keeping us safe. You know, heightened anxiety, super anxiety, super vigilance, hyper vigilance. I like to call it may have served you well and protected you as a child, but it's not serving you as an adult where you have responsibility to be an adult or a mentor or a parent for younger people and that it protected you when you were young. So the way to work through the reptilian brain is to go through and shut down these dysfunctional programs and that's where I come in, that's what I do. And that's what I've, I've created a unique program, a unique expertise, which very, 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 very few people, this is something I've created that's uniquely to me. And it, it is about shutting down these programs in the, in the reptilian brain so that you can just naturally access the inner peace, the inspiration and creativity of the neocortex. Yeah. And because that's a place where you're going to be really happy is when you're operating from your thinking, your conscious brain, your neocortex. And you want to, so you want to delete or uninstall these dysfunctional programs in your reptilian brain so that you can live a happy life. You can live a conscious life where you install new programs, you, you, you know, do all the cool, cool things, change the world, improve the world, you know, have an awesome family, all the good things that you want, do really well in your career is going to come from you doing, you know, having 
really unrestricted access to your neurocortex without your reptilian brain coming in there and sabotaging you. Yeah, the reptilian brain is, is it's 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 a really it's it's a brain which served us well. Um, you know, it's, it will serve you well in a Mad Max scenario, but it doesn't serve you well in modern day in, in modern day uh, civilized life. It's it really can hamper your happiness, and so that's how I work. This, this, just wanted to talk about two brains, so you can get a better understanding. The reason I do these videos is that you can understand that when there's something that's not working in your life. It's not that there's something wrong with you. It's just that your programming in your unconscious mind, your reptilian brain, is serving you. It's protecting you. It's trying to keep you safe or it's trying to do something for you that's worked in the past, but it doesn't work now in the future. Yeah? So, yeah, that that's basically what it is. And so there's nothing wrong with you. It's just that your reptilian brain has some programs that, that need to be maybe deleted, um, worked through, um, turned off, and so you can get back into experiencing more positive empowering emotions like love inspiration creativity joy gratitude serenity these are really beautiful blissful emotions that that really add to the health of your body and the health and happiness in your life this is roger roger thank you so much for watching my video click like and share if you want to if you think someone will get some benefit from this have an awesome day and get in touch with me if you're interested in learning more about your brain and you know going through some mind body healing or maybe working through some anxiety or post-traumatic stress disorder whatever it is come and talk to me message me through my page and I, i'll see if i can help you have a fantastic day